Amber Heard expresses her love for Johnny Depp. Junior Andre releases debut hit single. The Burner Boy shooting victim requests evidence. This and more brought to you here on this week's episode of The Rundown. After her recent loss in a defamation lawsuit with Johnny Depp, Amber Heard speaks up for the very first time in an interview on NBC. Amber admitted that she still loves Depp and reiterated that she has no bad feelings towards her ex-husband. She explained that her 2018 interview about domestic violence with the Washington Post was not about Depp or their relationship, though it was the main source of argument against her in the case. Heard expressed her concern of continuing to speak about Depp in a means to avoid potentially being sued and testified to not being a good or likeable victim and that when she was in court she only asked to be seen as human. It is quite brave for her to speak out so soon about the case and despite its outcome I do wish both Heard and Depp a peace-filled end of the year. Junior Andre has stormed the UK iTunes chart with his debut single Slide after just hours of its release. Peter Andre and Katie Price's son debuted at number one ahead of the likes of Harry Styles, Lady Gaga and even Eminem. Sharing the exciting news on Instagram, Junior thanked his supporters and asked whether they can get the single to the top of the UK charts where he placed fourth at the time. The snippets of Slide, which premiered on TikTok, have now surpassed over 6 million views. His parents both showed their admiration for their son and his new success by commenting how proud they are on one of his posts. The comedian and rapper Big Nasty was said to be present at Junior's debut single launch, showing support of the 17-year-old rising star. Unlike his father, Junior is riding the correct ways through the industry after landing a huge deal with Columbia Records. On his congratulations to Junior, his team and family on such a successful release. We look forward to hearing what's next from him. The victim of a shooting altercation between Burner Boy's security guards in a club in Lagos has requested for the CCTV footage of the events that unfolded on the night of June 8th. The shooting came as a response to a confrontation between Burner Boy's entourage, the victim's husband and a friend. The victim took to Twitter to tell the story, stating that she denied three requests to approach Burner Boy sent on his behalf through one of his entourage. Her husband and friend stepped in, which then turned into a fight. Shots were fired by the star's security at an attempt to disperse the crowd and get the Nigerian star safely out of the club. The victim's husband was reportedly hit in the head and her friend was shot in the thigh, losing so much blood on arrival to the hospital for urgent care. The victim called out Club Cubano, who did apologise and claimed to want to provide assistance to the justice she and her loved ones deserve. Yet they have not provided CCTV evidence of the night to help file the case, which may go down as attempted murder. The police is still yet to share updates on the incident. This week's fresh music. Chris Brown, We, Warm Embrace. This week, Chris Brown revealed both the audio and visuals of his new single ahead of his album, Breezy, which is now available on all streaming platforms. Fellow R&B sensation Normani plays a main role in the music video too. Check out this single. We've added it to our new music playlist, which we update every week. That's all for this episode of The Rundown. Make sure to subscribe, turn your notifications bell on and follow Yen Network on all social media platforms. My name's Purple. See you next time.